Hey guys, this is your boy Homer Ziggy. I'm back here with another video. Sorry, my face has a big old bump in the middle. It might be noticeable and such. But either way, we're here with Crip, Bad Friend, official music video. Now, he said this was coming out today at 1 p.m. Right now, it's like 1.26 at the time of this recording. And just release this. So, hey. You already know that once I, once any song when it comes to like Crip or School Face comes out, you know I'm gonna be on it like that. But first things first, make sure you hit that like button and make sure you hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And or well, turn on all notifications and such. And it's like this. I literally, no joke, I literally just woke up like 27 minutes ago. Cause right, I did say it's 126, now it's 127. 127 p.m. But I literally just woke up about like minutes ago. And I just realized on my phone that this just popped up. So I said we're gonna be on it, so here it is. And hey, it's like this, when it comes to Crip said that in his song and that when it comes to his songs and the album that he gonna release soon, I think it's on the 26 or so. But either way, he said that once that the album comes out, all songs are, are copyright free and all DMCA free or so. So that means anybody could react to it and make a money. Well. My channel hasn't had like a thousand subscribers yet, but either way, I'm gonna receive, I'm not gonna get no copyright, so shout out to him for that. But it's like this. So far, at the time of this, it has 4.9k views. By, probably by next week or so, it has 10. Mark my words. But either way, we better check this music video out. So. Without further ado, let's get in the video. Two thirty in the morning, and I get a text from my friend. She said, "I need you right now," and I already knew what that meant. See, me and this girl, we think alike. Too many phone calls spent for me to know she's thinking about a life and how it's gonna end. See, on the outside, we're happy and we show it to the world. And we put on this fake exterior so the truth won't unfurl. But I know who she is, cause it's like looking in a mirror. All these smiles and cries for help, and it couldn't be any clearer. So I pick up the phone and call her as she answers through her cries. She's hyperventilating, telling me that she wants to die. My heart's. Whoa. Hey. If I said the title of it, it's Crip Bad Friend. But I did. But I think I did. But anyway, with the way how this is, bro, hey, we all. First start of it, ain't that some truth? Most people always wanna. Most people when they wake up, they deal. They're thinking about suicide. Cause sometimes life ain't how it is. Sometimes life can go good. Sometimes life can go really, really bad. That at the point that people wanna die, whether you're your best friend or such. Mirror. All these smiles and cries for help and it couldn't be any clearer So I pick up the phone and call her as she answers through her cries She's hyperventilating telling me that she wants to die My heart starts to race and my thoughts begin to blur We're nine hours apart but I'm seconds from losing her I try to calm her down and tell her what she means to me even though we're new friends, she's seen a side that no one sees Told her, listen to my breaths, I'm right here, please breathe You got so much left to do, stay here, don't leave The cries got even louder as the breaths got short I told her, listen to my words as I fell down to the floor Stay with me, I'm here, let it out, it's okay Just cry till you can't cry, no more tears down your face A couple minutes went by and the crying finally stopped But not because she did, because the phone call dropped I called her back quick, just hoping I'd hear hello, but I just Kept getting met with the sounds of those dial tones. I froze. What do you do in that moment? Do you call the police or do you hope that she's over? Damn. That's when it's real serious. When they stop, when they just hang up on you and you're supposed to be their best friend. 
But when they when they at a point where they don't want to hear nobody and such, not even if it's your best friend, they thinking about that at that point, trust me, you gonna be worrying as hell. Get a hold of her parents and tell them the situation Just so they can pull her from college and end her aspirations Leave it alone and hope it was just an escapade Pray from a text from her in the morning saying that she's okay Call anyone you know just to make sure that she's alive Ignore it completely and pray to God that she survived I let it go, she must have wanted to be alone I guess that this was just another one of her episodes She never told no one about this depression she dealt with And who was I to air out her secrets that would be selfish So I lay down in my bed and I rested my head Closed my eyes and drifted peacefully to sleep Then I dreamt that I would see her tomorrow And I would speak to her then Till I was woken to several missed calls and texts that she's dead My heart broke Dang And he said this was a true story Trust me You always if this ain't the truth about most situations people have, trust me. This is how music's supposed to do. Whether it makes you hope, whether it makes you whether it makes you feel some type of way about things that happens. Cause outside when it comes to like bars and so and so, you gotta have some storytelling in it. And trust me, this is some great storytelling right here by the man. Close my eyes and drifted peacefully to sleep Then I dreamt that I would see her tomorrow And I would speak to her then Till I was woken to several missed calls and texts that she's dead My heart broke She downed a bottle of pills She took them shortly after our call in it And it felt surreal She was a friend of many A student athlete at a school A daughter, a sister, a very special jewel At the funeral they told us that nobody had a clue That they could have saved her life if only that they knew And if someone at the funeral had ever felt depressed To get some help so that your face will never end up in the press There wasn't a dry face in the room Only 22 years old An entire life in front of her And now she's laying there cold If only I'd called someone We wouldn't be here now And nobody would be sad And I wouldn't feel like I let her down But that's not what happened Cause instead of going to bed I called every person I knew to check to make sure you weren't dead I stayed up seven hours praying every second of it Just hoping to get a text saying told me that I had no right and blocked me on everything. We ain't talked since that night. Was I a bad friend? Options? I had none. I guess I'd rather be a bad friend than a sad one. Damn. I thought she really did. I thought she really did down the one passed off but in April 15th, huh? Hey, man. This one was deep, and this has some great storytelling and such, and a great message and such that no matter, like, it, no matter what, Whatever situation your best friend is in, always try to find a way how to calm them down and not to let them like try to do any like suicide or so to them. Always know how to talk to your best friends. And sorry if the music out there is loud. They, uh, my parents always do stuff like this and such. But the fact, the fact of the matter is, for this, mo the moral of the story for me is that from this, always check on your friends. Make sure to be be there for them when they're at their lowest point. When they don't, when they want to like kill themselves, and tell them no. You have so much to live for. You have friends that care about you. Your parents that care about you. You're a student athlete, and trust me, that comes out my way. But basically, don't kill yourself over a situation. Don't try to kill yourself. Always try to find positivity towards anything in life. And that, I mean, like, and it's like I said during this, like, music's supposed to have a way of have, having a message towards it and such. And, brother, this had a very, very, very deep message towards it. But, hey, let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been your boy, Humble Ziggy, signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Let go.